The Comeback, 2004 Boston Red Sox is one of Netflix's new October releases and chronicles the Red Sox's 2004 World Series win and the end of the infamous curse of the Bambino. When my aunt, grandmother, and father realized they had a brief appearance in The Comeback, they were delighted, as Bostonians and lifelong Red Sox fans. My dad's side of the family has been in the Boston area since the late 1800s, so to say the curse of the Bambino was personal to my family would be a massive understatement. Although I was barely out of elementary school when the Boston Red Sox finally beat the curse, I remember the energy around that win well. My house was often a house divided, split between support for the Red Sox, Philadelphia Phillies, and Baltimore Orioles. No matter the team we were rooting for, though, one rule about baseball was very clear growing up, we did not like the Yankees. I didn't yet understand the magnitude of that rivalry, but the comeback, which could easily be considered one of Netflix's best sports documentaries, is a wonderful exploration of that history. The curse of the Bambino was very real for Boston fans. Boston's 86-year battle to defeat the Yankees was no small matter. Babe Ruth smiling wearing a Red Sox uniform in the comeback. The curse of the Bambino was said to have begun with the Boston Red Sox's fateful decision to trade baseball legend Babe Ruth whose nickname was the Bambino, among many others, to the Yankees. The trade took place between the end of 1919 and the beginning of 1920. This was a truly shocking move by the Red Sox and one that, even at the time, many felt made little sense. With Babe Ruth on their team, the Red Sox brought home multiple World Series wins, in 1915, 1916, and 1918. This was in addition to World Series wins by the Red Sox in 1903 and 1912, before Ruth joined the team in 1915. Given their track record with Ruth, it was a surprise that the Red Sox made this move. The curse was believed to have come along with this trade, which is why the curse was named for Ruth. After 1918, the Red Sox did not win another World Series until 2004, which is the focus of the comeback. The Yankees, on the other hand, have won a shocking 27 World Series titles, many of which spanned the very years the Red Sox had their 86-year drought. To make matters worse, the Red Sox frequently struggled to win against the Yankees, even in less important games than the likes of Game 7 in the American League Championship Series, ALCS, dot it's important to note, not every Bostonian truly believed in this superstition. For some, the curse of the Bambino was only brought up sarcastically following a loss to the Yankees. As my dad put it given the curse went on for close to a century, it's not all that difficult to imagine why Bostonians' logic would shift. The brutal 2003 Red Sox loss to the Yankees, also depicted in the comeback, cemented this even further. The Red Sox went all the way to Game 7 of the ALCS that year and only needed one more win to secure a spot in the 2003 World Series and end the curse by beating the Yankees. This ended up being a disastrous game. After being projected to win by a very large margin, former Red Sox manager Grady Little failed to pull pitcher Pedro Martinez out of the game long after many felt he had tired out. Fans continue to blame Little for this loss, and he was fired after the game. 